Hi guys, my name is Kim. I am a biologist here at Metro Aquarium, and today we're going to talk about frogs. Uh, all of our frog species can be found upstairs in our kid zone. Yesterday, you guys went on social media and asked us a bunch of questions about our frogs, so I am going to be answering them for you guys now. So one of our first questions is from Nathan. He wants to know how many different species of frogs we have here at Adventure Aquarium. So we actually exhibit nine different species um, here at the aquarium. And here in our Pretty Poison exhibit, we actually have four different species all together. Uh, Rachel wants to know, um, at Adventure Aquarium, how do we set up our frog exhibits? So if you're looking around, you can see that we try to make it as natural looking as possible, depending on where they're from. So that includes a lot of live plants, live moss. Uh, we'll put water features in like our waterfall instead of just having bowls of water. And we try to maintain a good temperature and humidity to what they like. So these guys in particular like it to be pretty warm and pretty wet all the time. Um, another question is, how far can a poison dart frog hop, and then what do they eat? So how far they can hop really depends on where they're trying to go. Uh, you can see they can do short little hops if all their food is right in front of them. If they need to climb or jump a far distance, they can um, jump pretty far, usually between 6 to 10 inches. And then what do they eat? If you can see any of them left in here, they pretty much devoured all of their food. They will eat little insects. Um, here at the aquarium, we feed them little fruit flies and little tiny crickets. So why are poison dart frogs so colorful? So poison dart frogs, as their name suggests, in the wild are very poisonous. They show these very bright colors to signal to predators that they are in fact dangerous. Do not eat me. I am poisonous, I will hurt you. Right. So just so predators don't try to like risk that, they really, really show them and signal them, I'm dangerous with these really bright colors. Uh, and then Luca asked, what makes the poison, poisonous frogs at the aquarium poisonous? These guys actually are not poisonous at all. So despite their name, uh, poison dart frogs in the wild they get their poison based on the little insects and little mites that they eat. In captivity, when we do not provide them with those toxic foods, they lose that poison. So these guys are actually not poisonous at all. So it all depends on what they eat. And then Lily wants to know, how many babies or eggs can frogs have at one time? So that really all depends on the different species of frogs. These guys can lay anywhere from zero to 30 eggs at a time, um, usually in like the 10 area. Uh, but then some other frogs can lay hundreds at a time. So it all just depends. And then our last question of the day is, why do toads walk instead of jump? So they actually jump too. Um, frogs and toads will jump and walk. Usually toads are on the ground. Um, a lot of species of frogs, if they're up in the trees, they'll have to jump from tree to tree, which makes their jumping skills pretty impressive. But toads, because they're mostly on the ground, they don't really need to hop very far distances, so they kind of more walk. But if a predator were coming after them, they could hop away. All right, so thank you so much for all of your questions. We hope you learned a little bit about our frogs today. Uh, join us Friday at 12 p.m. on Adventure Aquarium social media channels for our stingray meetings. Bye, guys.